This, this is Wesley and Paul, and we are here today to introduce you to the great and very great Carl Frederick Goss, who invented math and very math subjects. Carl Frederick Goss was a German mathematician who had many achievements in the scientific field. He was born on April 30th, 1777, often called the Prince of Mathematics. Goss came up with many fundamental theories of the subject. Carl was known to be a genius when he was a child. At the age of three, he helped his father with financial calculations. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. Shut up. At the age of 19, he came up with a method of creating a hep Decagon, a 17 edge shape with only a ruler and a compass. He was so proud of his work that he requested the shape to be placed on his tombstone. Now on screen is the 17 Agon in all of its glory. <laughs> Molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but blind. At the age of 21, Gauss completed the arithmetical investigations or disquisition arithmetic a textbook on the number theory. Although it was not published until he was 24, the book brought together the findings of several mathematicians, including Fermat, Euler, Lagrange, and Legendre, along with the results of film researches. The writings are important to the modern algebra and is referenced by many mathematicians. <laughs> Gaussian curve is a bell curve and is often used in statistics to show normal distributions and standard deviations of a graph. Actually, this felt a, a prodigy, a pimply 19-year-old, Carl Friedrich Gauss, in 1796. What he did initially was just to prove that you could construct a regular 17-gon with ruler and compass. And later on, he analyzed the problem completely and, and said exactly what you can construct. I'm going to do the construction for you that, that Gauss proved was possible. But if I really do it with ruler and compass, then you'll be very disappointed because it won't work. And that's just because the little errors that I make along the way, there are so many little constructions to make. They're all the same and they're all really easy, but by the time you're finished, the errors have all built up. And so I might construct a 15 gun instead of a 17 gun. There's my circle. So I wanna, I would like to construct a regular 17 gun in that circle. So here goes. The first thing I'm gonna do is to draw a diameter. So the next step will be to construct a perpendicular bisector of this diameter. Maybe I'll do one, one such construction just so I'm not cheating completely. I know where one point is already, the center, so I don't have to draw that. Here's the other. And I guess I want it to go on for a while. Okay, you know I can divide things in half with ruler and compass, so I'm gonna divide them in half. 
and I'm just going to do it by eyeball. We could do it with ruler and compass, but it gets tedious after a while. And then I want to divide each of these segments in half too. There's a half, and maybe that's a half, like that. And um, then I get to draw another line. I'm going to do that with the, the real ruler through the quarter mark. And then I'm going to do something surprising. I'm going to draw a circle which has this radius. This, this is half the length of the radius. This radius and based at that point on this intersection, this, this quarter mark. So I'll put a little more ink in there. Get it in the hole. And I'll draw this semicircle. Now I'm going to draw a couple more lines. <laughs> this, is, this construction has a lot of lines in it, but it's really quite easy. Do you enjoy this? I love it. I love it. I don't know why, but it's, it's like origami or something. It's very, very precise craft stuff, and it does something beautiful. I'm going to draw that line. I'm going to draw this line. And I'm going to divide them both in quarters, too. So you know I can do that, and I'm going to do it by eyeball again. Well, you know I could. So I, I want that quarter, and I want this quarter, and I want this one. Is that about half? And this one. All right. And now I'm going to draw some more lines through this point of intersection and through those two new points. And I'm interested in where they meet this line down here. So there's a, a fundamental point that's going to be useful to me. And here's another. There. Okay, so now I have these two important points on this line marked. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to do something funny. I'm going to bisect this segment from this point to the edge. It's about here, but we'll, um, maybe I'll do that accurately because this is important. And I'm going to draw a circle uh, who's centered at that midpoint and whose radius is this. So it'll be inside the circle like that. I'm interested in this point, by the way, where my circle meets this line. And I'm going to draw a tiny little circle around the center point with radius this little distance here. So now I have a, another circle. And what I want is the line that joins them. There. And now I'm going to draw a circle which is centered at this funny point and this radius. So one more circle, and we're almost done. We're almost there. Are you still enjoying this? I'm getting a little tired of it, to tell you the truth. I'm going to draw that circle. And the crucial thing is where it meets this line. There. OK. Now we are ready. You might say, well, where's the, where's the 17 gone? <laughs> and I have to draw out a perpendicular to this diameter, which meets at that point and another one here. So I'm going to draw a line here and a line here. And should I eyeball it or should I do it for real? If I'd had a little more energy at this point, I would use the compass. But I'm, what I'm interested in anyway is this point and the corresponding point here. Now you might, if you're looking really hard, you might say, that's not a seventeenth of the circle. And in fact, it's two seventeenths of the circle. Or it would be if I had done everything exactly right. So I have one more division to do. I draw this line. I divide it in half. And I get a point about here. Right? I would say that's the point. And now I have my seventeenth of the circle, finally by drawing this radius. One radius and two radius. So this distance from here to here is supposed to be a seventeenth of the circle. Now, uh, just for fun, and um, you may have to go off camera for this, Brady. Let's see how, how <laughs> close I came. All right. Now, I would say I didn't get quite halfway between, because I estimated that 2, 
three, nine, ten. There's another, and another. Oh dear. And another. Well, gee, I'm. It's a, it seems it's close to a multiple. <laughs> And the last one. What did you make? What have you what gone have you made? Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one. So I made a twenty-one gone by accident, an impossibility. So it went wrong because it's I think probably not even a numerically stable procedure, even if I'd tried to use the compass at every time and done it as accurately as I could. By the time I made all those divisions and things, little errors would have built up and it would have come out wrong one way or another. But um, it's provably the right thing if you were exactly right. Let's see, how many am I doing? So this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Here's 16, and then since it's a 17 gone, maybe it should connect this way. <laughs> Not quite a regular 17 gone, but what can you do? I'm delirious. I'm delirious. I'm delirious, out of my mind. I, I'm delirious, out of my mind. I, I'm delirious, out of my mind. I, I'm delirious, out of my mind.